Hi there, in this video we're gonna look at where to get free icons for your wireframe mockup, uh, how to choose them, kind of some introduction to some of the licensing around some of the free ones, and in terms of what format you should be finding your icons. Okay, in this case, PNGs versus SVGs. All right, let's jump in. Okay, finding free icons. Um, especially at this wireframe stage, we want, you know, we don't wanna be sitting here designing our own icons, which you can totally do. And um, what we want to do is go off and get some kind of at least placeholders. Now, there are lots of places to find uh, free icons online. I'm going to show you iconfinder.com. I really like it. And um, but if this is no longer here or um, the quality is not up to your standards, okay, you can use what we're learning here about free icon finding uh, for any website. Okay, so um, the uh, in this case, I'm going to be looking for an account icon. Okay, I want that little kind of mini person -y thing that you click on when you want to get into your details. So um, what at this stage, I'm looking for free stuff because I'm not looking there. They have amazing paid stuff as well, which is totally worth it. But at the moment, I'm looking for free because I'm just kind of getting this mock up up and out. And what I'm also looking for is licensing. So this is the important part is um, there's commercial use. OK, now um, something called the Creative Commons license. So you'll need to check what you're using. OK, in this case, I want to use not only commercial use because this commercial use requires a backlink. OK, so I want the one that says uh, no backlink required. You can see here commercial use and doesn't require any sort of backlink to the original creator. Sad, but it's not kind of what I'm ready for right now. OK, I just need some quick stuff for a mock up or at least my wireframe but it does cut down what's available, okay? In this case, there's plenty for me to get started. So something that kind of looks like a person-y thing I'm gonna go for. Now, <laughs> only me and the editor know that I was staring at the screen for about, I don't know, two minutes. Uh, hopefully the editor cut that, <laughs> that section out and I'm really quickly picking one, but I didn't. Uh, it's been ages picking one. Uh, obviously we're trying to avoid stuff with very high style because that'll start a conversation about what colors, is that really the thing we want? We want something kind of generic, but I wanted it to be nice. Okay, so this brings us to one of the big parts. So uh, other than licensing, what you need to do is the kind of format. So um, PNG is something people know and love already. Okay, and SVG you may or may not know already. So we'll look at both of them. So I'm going to download this kind of appropriately sized 48 pixel PNG and I'll download this SVG version and I'll show you the difference. Wait there. All right, so I've downloaded the PNG version and the SVG version. How do I get them in? Uh, that's a good point. Um, uh, in uh, XD, there's the long way. File, uh, import, okay, or the shortcut there. Okay, and you can go and find them. There they are there. You can bring in more than one by holding shift and clicking two of them. So I'm going to bring in both of them. And there they are, there's our two little guys. So what we want to do now, let's have a little look at them. Okay, so command three to kind of zoom in on them. And then I back it out a little bit, because that's a bit close. So you can see the difference. PNG, bad, SVG, good. And um, PNGs, they like, uh, PNGs aren't necessarily bad. Um, I've kind of exaggerated this by downloading a small one, but it's made up of these little cubes called pixels, whereas SVG stands for scalable vector graphic. You might know the word vector, the nice thing about vector is when I try and scale it up, way, okay, remember hold shift to lock the proportion, okay, I can make it nice and big and it doesn't lose quality, okay, it's really big, it could be as big as a bus, as a mountain, okay, and the file size will still be um, relatively small, okay, and it will still have great crisp edges, whereas this, even if you download a larger one, so let's jump back to the site, I kind of downloaded the low one, okay, let's download the really big one. Okay, and have a look at that. Okay, I've just downloaded the large version. Okay, the difference is it'll look great. And I'll show you the way that um, I import stuff into XD. It is the non-official way. So what I do is I don't use this, all the shortcuts. I am lazy. I don't know. I drag it on. That works. <laughs> well, he's big. Where is it? Okay, so I downloaded the really big version. And you'd be like, yeah, so that's good quality. The problem is, is the trade-off is file size. So I can check this in my exercise files. And there he is there. So there's the two PNGs. There's the small one. And it is two kilobytes, just the same size as the SVG. Whereas the big version, well, hey, look how big it is. Very, very big in terms of web sizes. Okay, so multiples larger than the smaller PNG. So PNGs are fine, not scalable. The other big thing you can't do with PNG is you can't color it. So let's go back into here, command or control three, zoom out a little bit. 
Seems weird, that's the way I do it. Anyway, you zoom in how you like. <laughs> okay, the this thing here can't be colored. You can take it into Photoshop and color it, whereas this, you can click on it and say, I want you to be whatever color I like. So SVGs are good. Make sure you've got the license to use them. Don't be afraid of paying for them, okay? Uh, I don't wanna uh, say that you shouldn't pay for them, but at this stage for this wireframe, I'm not at that stage. We're not committing to any of them. We just need them here for some basic testing and for client approval, that type of thing. And the last thing while we're kind of lumping in SVG versus PNG icons is this is editable. This one here can't be changed, okay? You can't move it around. We'll do this in a later video in just one or two of them, but I wanna throw it in here as well. I've double clicked it and you can move it around. Look at that. Hey, hey, there's the other perk for SVGs. All right, jump cut. Um, coming back here, cause there's one other thing important about um, finding free icons that I forgot to mention while I was in here. Um, we've found this kind of like account icon, right? And often though, you're gonna need, well, often, every time, you're gonna need more than just one icon. So uh, if you're looking for free icons, before you commit, okay, uh, actually have a look at them. In this particular website, you can click on the actual icon, okay, and go into it, and you can find down here, look, it's part of a larger pack, okay? So that's the nice thing is that I can then go and find, because I'm gonna need, well, I don't like the burger menu, but shopping cart I like, okay? Oh, and there's an alternative for the um, account, okay? And there's a plus and all the other kinds of icons that I'm probably gonna need in the same sort of style, okay? So that's quite handy when you are making a choice is to find one that is not just a lone ranger all by himself. He needs to be part of a larger group to kind of make your life easier. But also don't, uh, well, be prepared that there's gonna be icons that aren't part of every pack that you're going to need to make yourself and you end up sometimes end up just recreating the whole set eventually because you want a style change and there's not enough in that kind of style or it's off brand, yeah. So <laughs> start with free icons at this wireframing uh, stage but be prepared to make your own later on. We'll do it in this course too. I'll show you how. All right, that is it for free icons. And the last thing I wanna throw in there is that they don't have to be free. You can totally be paying for these, especially if you're working at a company. These are, you know, the money you're paying for icons is pretty low and it supports the people making it. What I tend to do is I've got a subscription to some stock sites, okay? So stock is the stuff that pre-made, that's paid. I pay a monthly subscription to two places, weirdly, okay? Uh, Adobe Stock and Envato Elements. Both of those places have different flavors of good things, okay, and I can go in there and check and instead of having to, you know, kind of like maybe uh, scrimp on because you're looking at free stuff and not get the icon that you really want is I've got subscriptions to those sites. I pay monthly and it means that it doesn't cost me anymore to get a great set of icons that maybe, you know, and sports the artists slash designers who make them. Anyway, that is it for free icons. Uh, I will see you in the next video. Hi there, my name is Dan Scott. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like, uh, subscribe to the channel, and if you wanna go further with Adobe XD, there is, I have a full course, there'll be a link in the description, it's called Adobe XD Essentials, there'll be a card up here you can click as well. Uh, but yeah, carry on with your day, enjoy, and I might see you in the full course.